Selling is one of the most important elements in making moves, storylines, and personal issues look as real as possible to the WWE audience. Throughout WWE history, certain superstars have gone above and beyond to sell. From staying in the ring until after the fans have gone home, to be able to cry on demand to sell a title loss, all of these just show how much a certain superstar cares about their craft. But which times were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE wrestlers who went the extra mile to sell. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also, check out our non-wrestling YouTube channel, Incredible. Links in the description down below. Number 10, Dean Ambrose. Now, even though Dean Ambrose's heel turn flopped, it created a memorable and hilarious moment at a live event back in 2019. Ambrose had just defeated his arch nemesis Seth Rollins in the main event, and following the match, he would hit Ambrose with the stomp, which seemingly knocked Ambrose out cold. But not just for a few minutes, as Ambrose would sell the move by remaining in the ring face down for 15 minutes. Once the show was over and virtually everyone had left the arena, Ambrose was still selling the move. This was a great touch and showed that whilst Ambrose had clearly had enough of the company as a whole, his appreciation of the art of selling could never be diminished. Number 9. The Big Show now, The Big Show deserves a ton of credit for always going the extra mile to sell a storyline. The former WWE Champion had a great ability to cry on demand and this really helped with any emotional angles WWE were telling with the Giant. Back in 2012, The Big Show was involved in a storyline with Daniel Bryan and this feud would escalate when The Big Show accidentally trampled AJ Lee on SmackDown. WWE tried to present the storyline as if AJ was seriously hurt and as Big Show was the beloved babyface, he began to break down in tears. It looked great upon execution and you could actually be convinced that something went seriously wrong. Number 8. Paul London The WWE career of Paul London was mostly known for his association with Brian Kendrick, as well as potentially one of the best sells in WWE history at the Royal Rumble in 2005. London would be clotheslined off the apron by Gene Snitsky, and instead of taking a traditional bump, London would perform a flip. It looked absolutely incredible. London made Snitsky look like an absolute monster in the ring. He was trying to get himself noticed with the cell and it certainly worked. Fans were blown away, but unfortunately the same couldn't be said for members of WWE management. According to London himself, the cell rubbed them the wrong way as it looked like he was trying to overshadow everyone in the match. London even stated that WWE agent Michael Hayes stated that the move was really good, but it was too good. Number 7. Roman Reigns the Survivor Series in 2015 was supposed to be Roman Reigns' special night. He had just won the WWE title in a tournament and this would mark the first time the former SHIELD member was at the top of the WWE ladder. But WWE weren't quite ready for Reigns to have a full-on run with the title just yet, so they decided to have Sheamus cash in the money in the bank briefcase to win the WWE title. Reigns' sell of this huge title loss was insanely impressive. At first, Reigns looked in total disbelief at what had just happened. The mannerisms were on point and looked completely genuine. This shock though soon turned to upset as Reigns began to cry in the middle of the ring. This really made the moment feel like a huge deal and helped WWE fans sympathize with the future head of the table. Number 6. Chris Jericho One of the most shocking moments in Raw history took place during the Festival of Friendship segment in 2017. Kevin Owens would turn on BFF Chris Jericho in the ultimate act of betrayal. Due to the kayfabe injuries that Jericho suffered at the hands of Owens, he would be unable to compete in matches at live events. This naturally left WWE without one of their top advertised stars, so WWE would still have Jericho appear, albeit with a neck brace and crutches. This was a great way to keep a top star on the live event circuit while still selling WWE's most compelling storyline. Another nice touch from WWE and Jericho was that Jericho would still wear the crutches and neck brace when leaving the arena. This was for media appearances and for fan meet and greets. Keeping kayfabe alive is hard in the modern era, but it's always great when superstars attempt to keep the magic alive. Number 5. Rey Mysterio A 2020 feud between Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins pushed the boundaries on what WWE could do with their PG product. The two former WWE champions would face on an eye for an eye match, literally, at the horror show at Extreme Rules. 
The aim of the match was to literally extract the opponent's eye in any way possible. This was quite a sinister match type and seemed to be taken from the Attitude Era and didn't fit in today's PG Era. But the finish of the match came when Rollins pierced Mysterio's eye on the corner of the ring steps, popping out Mysterio's eye. Mysterio would proceed to wear an eye patch for all future matches and this even continued in public appearances. No matter how goofy the match ending was, credit should be offered to Mysterio for at least trying to make the angle work and wearing an eye patch in public must have been very frustrating. This would last for a few months before the eye patch was completely phased out and Mysterio's eye had just miraculously healed. Number 4. Brock Lesnar In terms of selling, Brock Lesnar is one of the best. Lesnar has the ability to make moves look legitimate and devastating, all whilst never compromising his character or stature. Take for instance the Royal Rumble in 2020. Lesnar was eliminated thanks to Claymore from Drew McIntyre and Lesnar's sell took McIntyre to the next level. Lesnar would remain on the outside selling the move for several minutes. He could have easily got up and walked to the back, but he just didn't. Lesnar remaining on the floor gave instant credibility to McIntyre's finisher. But following the extended sell, Lesnar would stand up in utter disbelief and it would take minutes before he began his slow walk to the backstage area. Lesnar couldn't stop staring at McIntyre, as if he couldn't believe that McIntyre had conquered him. Lesnar made McIntyre look like a million bucks, and this was Lesnar truly showing his love and passion for the art of pro wrestling. Number 3. The Big Show – House Show Antics During his time in WWE, The Big Show always enjoyed going the extra mile at house shows to give fans lasting memories. In 2015, The Big Show was selling in the ring after his loss and he remained in the ring for several minutes to sell the aftermath of his defeat. A referee would come into the ring to check on his condition and this was when The Big Show would eventually manage to stand, only for him to fall straight back down. It was a hilarious moment, but the hilarity didn't quite stop there. One of the referees would attempt to pin the 7 foot tall star, but before a 3 count could be reached, The Big Show suddenly popped up, making the two referees in the ring run for their lives. Number 2. CM Punk In the summer of 2009, CM Punk was the top heel on SmackDown. He was in the midst of an acclaimed feud with Jeff Hardy and Punk was delivering some of the best work of his entire career. He would wrestle Hardy in a steel cage dark match and following it, Punk would sell his loss to Hardy by staying put in the middle of the ring even whilst everyone went home. To be honest, it's unclear how long Punk stayed on the mat for, but it was long enough for everyone in the arena to leave and for the WWE production team to begin taking down the entire SmackDown set. That's dedication. And number 1. Paul Heyman Heading into the SummerSlam pay-per-view in 2018, WWE tried to create the impression that Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar were no longer associated. To sell the perceived issues between Lesnar and himself, Heyman purposely didn't sleep and when he was interviewed by Renee Young, his eyes were bloodshot red. This was actually insane dedication and Heyman was willing to sacrifice his own health and well-being to further an angle. Discussing Heyman's dedication on the Out of Character podcast, Renee revealed, I loved working with Paul Heyman because he's Paul Heyman obviously, but he and I always had such a great chemistry and he was somebody that always pushed me to push him. I remember we did a sit down with Brock and he had just turned on him and he's distraught. He's not shaved, I don't think he slept the night before because that's how Heyman works. He's method to a T. It was one of those moments where he wanted me to push him. He's sitting in that moment being so vulnerable that that's pushing me to go a certain place and then our characters had this push and pull relationship that made me kind of want to take advantage of the fact like, oh, is Heyman sad about this? How do I get him with this? How do I grind him down? I always really loved working with Paul. Paul, oh, do you want to take a minute? Come on. Do it. Well, there you have it, folks. 10 WWE wrestlers who went the extra mile to sell. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.